<laughs> if you want your face on YouTube, then yeah. But I don't recommend it. Let's start the class, everyone. So, everybody, today we are going to see the power of having two rooks on a particular place. Maybe on the same file or maybe on the same track. So here, as you can see, white has got two rooks on the same file. Is that more powerful or having two rooks on the same rank? Black has got two rooks on the second rank. White has got two rooks on the fifth uh, F5. Which set of rooks are more powerful? So according black. to Blacks. Blacks. Why are I saying whites? Yeah. Anyone else? Well, then, uh, I am just asking. Uh, when I ask I'm you explanation, then you can speak. Issue. Right now, you have to just say white or black and you have to be quiet. I have to ask others also. And why? You so like? Rooks or blacks rooks? Blacks rooks you like. Nima? Black. Smile? Black. Varnika? Black. Anadini is thinking. Which rooks? Whites or blacks? Okay, so why do you guys like blacks? Myra likes whites because they are in the same file. They can go down and give check. Okay, and those who like blacks, why? Let me ask Anvay. Why do you like black suits? Sir, because uh, sir, they can uh, sir, because they can uh, be more powerful on the same rank. Uh, okay. On the same rank. So okay. The same so why are rooks more powerful on the same rank than on the same file? On the same rank, they can go and take everything on the second rank. Usually there will be pawns here. Right? So you can just grab everything. So have one you. second. When I am speaking, please don't interrupt. People have to listen. So don't interrupt when I am speaking. So when you have two rooks on the second rank, number one, there will be pawns on the second rank or seventh rank. So you can grab all the pawns. That's one factor. Second, you can also threaten checkmate. If you have two rooks and maybe a pawn to help or a bishop to help or a knight to help. You can threaten checkmate. Even two rooks can give checkmate if king is a little bit that way. You can bring one more rook here and another rook down and checkmate. But if king is here, it's difficult to give the checkmate with just two rooks. So, in a position like this, the black rooks on the second rank are more powerful than the rooks on the open file. So now, it is black's move. This was a game played by Levi Rosmas. So, you know, how many of you know Levi uh, Gotham Chess? Okay, he, he is famous on YouTube. So, <coughs> in this position, what should Black do? So, who was he playing against? Uh, let me see. He so was, he oh, oh, sorry, sorry, this was not Levi's game. Levi's game we'll see next. This was played by GN Gobal, uh, a GM from Kerala, was white. Black was Levin, Levin Pansulaya. This was in the Olympiad in 2012. So that's not important. What's important is how should black continue? What will you do for black in the next few moves? What's the next move for black? Yes, Anwar. Sir, I will grab the pawn. You will take the pawn for free. Yeah. Okay. What about Nivar? I'll take the pawn. Okay. Anyone, one more person? What will you do? Anybody? Varnika? Grab the pawn. So yeah, it's good to take the pawn. So when so, you take the pawn uh, for free, you are winning a pawn. But black, white will also start taking here. Right? He will also start taking pawns and he will also get one rook down. Then you will be under pressure because white also has a pawn to help. Smile. One second. Huh? Please keep your hand down. Smile. If he grab the pawn, then the king will take the rook. No, the rook will still be there. No? The rook is here only. No? Rook is protecting this rook. So the king can't take because the rook is protecting the rook. So taking the pawn is a good idea. But first, uh -huh. so b2 check. Yeah, first we give a check. King moves here. Next. So now uh, a2 check. A2 check. Okay. King moves to b1. So now um, b2 check. D b2. D b2 check. That's this is what happened in the game. You're right. These are the exact moves that happened in the game. Mm -hmm. Now what? After so, the king so, moves. So so a one we can't play because then the Yeah, if gone. you play rook a one, king will take your rook. Then so, having two rooks will not be anymore in the position. So that's so, so so c two check. Then we keep moving left and right now. How are you going to win? Just giving checks won't win the game. See, just having these two rooks here will not win the game by giving checks. If you want to win, you have to either win pawns. Hi Darsh. You have to either win pawns or you have to bring more pieces to help. Here there are no more pieces to help. So so. Uh, so now it's time to take the pawn. 
So, so, should we take a, like, does a beat people on the Listen, side? listen. If you listen, you'll understand. Why is taking this bond better? What is Black's threat right now? Earlier when you said take the bond, it was okay. But here it's even better. Why is that? Yes, Maya. So they can be up by a piece. How are you, how, how are you up by a piece? You just took a bond. Even before when you told take the bond, you, you, you were okay. I mean, that was also okay. But here it's even better. Because Black is making a threat. A big threat. Nivan. Uh, go on on G7 and That's not a threat. How does it make Black's move better? See, Black it took the pawn. the pawn. It defends the pawn, true. Even before when you took it, defended the pawn. No? Here it's better because it's making a threat. Black's making a huge threat. Who can tell me? What so, is Black's so threat? If they like take our B7 pawn, hmm. rook a1 yeah so the threat is rook a1 we don't, need to, we don't need to say if they take our threat is rook a1 checkmate in the starting position when the king was when it was like this something like this if you took the pawn then it's just a pawn here after some check this was the position right after some checks now when you take the pawn the king is pushed away so when you take the pawn you're threatening checkmate so that means white has only one move. What should white do to stop the checkmate? Let me ask Varnika. How can white stop this threat of checkmate? So what are we doing, sir? You will listen, if you listen, you will understand, Arav. If you arrive in between in the class, first listen. Then you will understand what we are doing. Uh, wait, let Varnika decide. So can I go to the wash? Yeah, sure. Yes, Varnika? Uh, How can white stop the checkmate or checkmate threat? Uh, Myra? Rook to S3. But, ah, but that's a free piece, no? I'll uh, take the rook. So, but isn't that like so, so? Take... If, if you have a move, then tell me. So, it's the same move, but if rook F2 takes... No, A rook can also take. I'll take with the A rook, let's say. I'll take your free piece. Okay, so I'll take with the A rook. Mm -hmm. Then I take with the uh, F7 rook. Can I take back? So it's, a, it's losing a piece, but it stops the checkmate. Threat. And you're okay. Position is okay. No, no, no. You're losing now. The position is losing. So, the aim of defending is not to get a lost position. Sir. One second, I'm speaking here. So the aim is to defense means stopping the threat and not lose something. You're giving up your full rook. That is not the aim of defending. Then the position is gone, you're going to lose. It won't be checkmate, but you're still going to lose. So right now, how can white stop this rook one checkmate? Path, path. So, yeah. King two, uh, one, uh, b one. Exactly. King b one is the only move to stop the checkmate. There's no other good move to stay in the game. Now, <clears throat> black is how many pawns up right now? Anandini, what is black up by in this position? One pawn, correct. Black is up a pawn. There is one more pawn to take here, one more pawn to take here as well. Now we give again a check. King moves. Wait, you might want to stay on this line, so let's give a check with this rook. King moves and you take the B pawn. So now you have two pawns up and you're also defending the B pawn and you're defending the G pawn. And the position is great because the king is still stuck, cannot move up. A pawn will fall. So black went on to win this game just because of his two rooks. So two rooks on the second rank, main advantage is you will be able to take the pawns. On the second rank and on the third rank also will be pawns, you can take them also. So, but on the like the sixth rank? So that, those pawns we can't take, but you will still be able to have an active position. So your rooks can move from here, from the second rank. Sir, everybody moves actively. Yeah, today. now the, in the next position, we are going to see how to get both rooks to the second rank. How do we get a uh, nice position like this, like black god in this situation? How can we do that? Let's go to the next position. Yes, Parth, what happened? Uh, did you ask us like to uh, 
Then there's good moves for white. No, now for white there is no good moves. Black is different and everything. So can and I black is yeah option? sure. Black is up by two pawn. There's no good move for white. Sir, white can try to play pawn take, Hello. but black will take. Sir, yeah. Uh, they they could even do this. So I said two F three. Rook to ah uh, that just uh, exchange of rooks, and then it's two pawns up for black. So exchanging rooks will be even better for black because already you're two pawns up. That will be easy to win. Now in the next position, we are white. Okay, our second position. Hello. Okay, so again, let me ask you, material-wise, based on what is on the board right now, who is winning or who is better? So. Once you make a decision, then tell me. You sure? Okay. What? Who is winning? So, so why is winning by one point? Uh, do you agree with that, Myra? Why? Yeah, why it's up by one point? Right now, based on the position, is white's position better or is black's position better? Let me ask Anvay. And why do you say white's position is better? Sir, because its rooks are kind of active. Rooks are active. Excellent. Black's rooks are. This rook is active, but the other rook is not. White's rook are both active, especially this guy. Arup, please sit properly and focus here. It's going so, in yeah. the black palace. Yeah, it's on the seventh rank. That is the heaven for a rook. If you can get your rook to open in seventh rank, or if you're black to open in second rank, then that rook rook is super happy. So this. So what about the eighth rank? Eighth rank does nothing there to do. I mean, if you go to eighth rank, it will come out. That that's the only thing. You go to eighth rank. You should go to seventh rank. You know, eighth. Here you can't go there, but he is asking generally. Generally, if you go to eighth rank, we won't get anything. The pawns are on once again. The pawns are on the seventh rank, and going to seventh rank will stop the king from coming up. If you go to eighth rank, you're basically making the king come up. That's not what we want. So right now, there's already a rook on the seventh rank, which makes the position really good for white. And white's upper pawn. Well, black is about to take our pawn. So what should we do in this position for white? You can take one minute to think and try to find out the best move for white. If you are white, what would you do? Okay, how many of you have decided? Let's start with path. Rook to d2. Rook to d2, defending the pawn. Okay, Myra? Uh, rook to e5. Rook to e5. Okay, and Ahan? Rook to e5. Sorry. Okay, so Myra and Ahan, what's your idea? Why are you going to e5? Uh, so, so. so we can go to the seventh. Exactly. So your pawn is hanging. But you can give up the pawn. That's your extra pawn. Even if it's not your extra pawn, you can give up the pawn because if you get both rooks to seventh rank, then you have a lovely position. So rook e5, two people found. Well done. Good. You are giving up the pawn. Opponent took this pawn in the game. Opponent took the pawn, and now one more pawn is hanging. But we will play rook to e7. Rook to e7. Because what, once you once you get your rooks to the seventh rank, you will get at least two pawns of free. Sir, yeah. Then you can control the seventh rank and you will get the back three. So yeah, yeah, if he if he takes the g two pawn, hmm. that's rook what he did. At seven, no, that's not the best move. And so let's think. That's why we should think. As soon as you get a good position, don't start playing moves fast. You got to stop and think what is best. Even though we lost one pawn extra, now we are down a pawn from being a pawn up. But you've got these rooks; they guarantee you at least two pawns for free. And there's one more thing: you will never lose this game. You know why? Because of you can draw this any time you want. You can. Are you giving statement? 
How will you give stalemate with thousand rupees on the board? Man? What's the meaning of stalemate? Stalemate so is when there's no when there's yeah smile. What is stalemate? When there's no check and the king has nowhere to move. Not just king. When there's no move at all. So even if king can't move, but a pawn can move, it's not stalemate. Stalemate is not possible here. So how is a draw possible for white? Any time white wants, white can draw. Nima? Because white is winning, so black will happily offer. Accept the draw if white offer. Why? Black is up a pawn right now, so why should I accept your draw offer? You have to make the draw. White White has a way to make the draw if you want. Once you have two rooks on seventh rank, a draw is already in your hand. How? How can you force a draw here for white? How can draws happen? Stalemate is one so way of game. Yes, yeah, stalemate is one way of game ending in a draw. How else can a game end in a draw? If there's nothing left on the board, insufficient material, that's a draw. How else? Repetition. Yeah, like a hand, you want to say repetition. If the same position repeats three so, times, it's a draw. Yes, how else? If the king, uh, there are on both sides only one king. Ah, that we already told. If there's nothing left on the board, insufficient material is so a draw. Or if there's only yeah, one. Yeah, that, that's insufficient material. That's already done. What so, stalemate, insufficient material, repetition. How else can a game end in a draw? Yes. 50 move rule. 50 move rule. Very good. 50 move rule means for continuous 50 moves, if there's no capture or a pawn move, it's a draw. But that can't happen here because just now a capture happened. So there's no 50 move rule. So after here. How, that is the same thing as 50 move rule. That's when the arbiters come and say it's a draw. After If there's no capture, even after 75 moves, even if players don't agree to a draw, arbiter will come and say it's a draw. That's same as 50 move. How else? How well? Perpetual yes. check. Agreement. That's we already discussed. Now the repetition is a perpetual check. Same thing. Agreement. Yeah, by agreement. When both sides agree to a draw. So here, how can the game end in a draw? If white wants, how can white force a draw in this position? Stalemate not possible. Agreement, black won't agree just like that. Then 50 more or no, just never capture happened. So what is possible? Yes. Agreement. No. Agreement, how it goes. Uh, how do you repeat? How can white repeat moves? Repetition doesn't mean we make the same move three times and say draw. Sir, you make a move, open makes it. Rook to f7, how is that a repetition? No, sir, rook to f7. I'll take your pawn. Where's the repetition? Oh, yeah. Sir. Yes, path. Uh, rook to uh, f7. Huh, you can take the pawn for free. That you can take and make it equal. But if you want to draw the game, how to draw? Just start giving checks, that's it. See, king cannot escape, no? he's stuck here, right? So wherever king moves, you check. He moves here, check. He can't go anywhere. Once you have two rooks, the king is stuck. He can't do anything. So once this happens three times, it will become a draw. Wherever he goes, if he goes here also, take. If he comes here, check. So, so that's what it. about winning the game? Are we talking about that? What are we talking about? Uh -huh? So drawing. Why are we talking about drawing the game? Do we want to draw the game? <laughs> yes. We want to draw this game after getting two rooks. We are trying to understand how do you have the draw. Does it mean you have to make the draw? If you are playing this game, you have to understand why is it that white already has the draw. You didn't know that. That's why we are looking at it. It's not that we have to make the draw just now. So try to understand what we are discussing at this moment. Not about other things. So right now we are just looking at how can white draw when you have two rooks on the seventh rank? This is how. You just start giving checks and black has nowhere to hide. It will be a draw after three time repetition. So what if you like? What, so what if you like? Yeah, sure. Uh, like a white. So you said black doesn't have any places. But hmm. what if you're black, you have two rooks on the seventh rank? Then black can draw the game anytime he wants. Oh. It's the same thing, no? When you have two rooks, the draw is in your hand whenever you want it. So, so let's go back. Rank, for black, it will be second rank, not seventh rank. If black has two rooks in second rank, then he can draw the game. If white has two rooks in seventh rank, then he can draw the game. Now, this is how you draw the game if you want to. But you've got a great position. So we want to win this. So instead of taking the pawn, you can do something better. Just like the last position, instead of taking the pawn for free, you can take the pawn with a threat. When there is a threat you make, then you take the pawn. Right now, you're just simply taking the board. And the game continues. You'll play rook b8 and the game continues. Sir. Yes. Rook g7. Rook g7, I move the king here. Now you take h7. 
Why? Why? Why then? What's then the threat? Then you're basically doing the same thing as last time. What are you threatening? Exactly. So we give the check. If king goes here, we'll take with check. And again, it's our move, right? So king will go here. Now we take. Difference being, now we're threatening checkmate. The king has moved away, right? So we just give a check in between king mode, and then you take. Sir. Yes. That means the the king is only left with. Two moves. Huh? King is left with two is, but we cannot cover everything. So we are going to we cannot give checkmate just like that. We are threatening checkmate. Now let me ask Nivar, what should Black play here? King to G eight. Okay, King to G eight. Is there any other move for Black? Smile. King to G eight. That's also fine, na? So either you go to the rook on h seven, or you go to the rook on d seven. Either way, the other rook can't go down. So if if you go to e eight and this rook goes down, king will take, and you will take, and it's an exchange of rooks, nothing more. But now if you go to e eight, then I'll take one more pawn, and now checkmate is unstoppable because the king was moved away. Now we are on two sides and we're threatening checkmate. He can't do anything. So that is why, in this position, the king will go to g eight. Who is making noise? Silence, please. Now, what is the next step for White? We won the H pawn. You can take the B pawn any time, right? So, how do we take the B pawn? Do we directly take it, or can we do the same thing? Make a threat of checkmate and then take it. How can we threaten checkmate and take it? While taking it, we should be threatening checkmate. How do we do that? Yes, Path. We can move the knight to knight. Rook, rook. Rook to. Uh, I just. Uh, yeah, you can't go down. There's a rook sitting there, and your rook's hanging. So here we again give a check. Bring this rook and give a check. King moves. Now you take. What's the difference? The king is trapped. No, king oh, is not trapped. Checkmate. We are threatening checkmate. That's the difference. We are just threatening checkmate. So instead of directly taking it, we give a check and then we take. We are basically forcing the king away from g8, and now we are threatening checkmate. So black has only one move. What is the move? Are you? What should black play here? Black should play. Black should play. Black should play. Are you listening? No. No. Very good. Um, <laughs> huh? Two. Is white threatening checkmate? Are you? If it is white's move, can white give checkmate? Can you, you, let's say you're white, okay. Sorry, One second, I'm asking Path. Let's say you're white. No, not Path. Arav. Let's say you're white. Can you give checkmate? Sir. I'm asking Arav. No, I'm asking. Not now. I'm asking Arav. How can we give checkmate if you're white? One more checkmate. White to play. What will you do? Look. Hmm. Huh. That will be checkmate, huh? There is nothing to laugh. There is no need to laugh. If anyone does that again, they are going to get negative point. If someone tells a wrong answer, there is nothing to laugh about it. Okay. So rook e seven, it's not a check. Are you giving a check to the king? Then how will it be checkmate? Smile. How to give checkmate? If you are white, how will you give checkmate? Huh? Yeah. Rook h eight is checkmate. So to give checkmate, you have to cover last two lines. So we are threatening rook h8 checkmate. So what should black play path? If you are black, what to do? Arav, don't disturb others, please. You you can sit in your place. Why are you disturbing others? Your aim should be to focus here. No need to talk to others. No need to disturb others. Let them think and answer. What should black do path to stop the checkmate? Why it's about to play checkmate, na? No? So what should black do? Should black should uh, move the uh, move the move the black move the black uh, rook to hmm. two. 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 
Does that stop checkmate? Still checkmate? The threat is Rukachet, mate. Playing this doesn't stop Rukachet checkmate. Let me ask Anwar. Sir, king to uh, g8. Yeah, you have to move your king. That's how you stop Rukachet. You move your king, and now the rook can't go to h8. No? So king will go to g8, and now again check. The king moves away. How to make progress? We are up by a pawn, but we are already up a pawn at the start. Now we want to take this pawn. So how can we do that? We did everything possible right now. You can take this pawn, but after takes, takes, black will also take this pawn. So this pawn is not really free because so your pawn will hang. Yes. If a black rook takes a pawn, will take back. When? When I will? When? When I am saying? When am I saying that rook will take this pawn? Right now. Right now, black will take the pawn. Why would black blunder a rook? When white takes this pawn, when white takes this pawn, after takes, takes. Then rook will take this one. Then there is no white rook over here. White rook is here. Right. So try to understand the position afterwards. So here, the next step to do is winning this g pawn. So this is where we need our all pieces to come in. But there is no other piece. And the king can't move up. So which piece can come for support, for help in the Sorry. activity of the two rooks? Yes, Parth? The pawn. Which pawn? The pawn on h2. Exactly. This pawn can come up and help. How will it help? So, yeah, we will we'll go to h4. Yeah, we push it. Now we are threatening h5 because pawn can't take. It's a pin. So, in the game, black played this move. Now, Varniga, what should white do next? Are you not listening? Uh -huh. If you don't listen, you will understand. Smile. Move the pawn to h5. Ara, why are you playing with the pieces? Then, what are you doing? What are you doing? Is that what we are supposed to do now? What did I tell you to do in the class? Focus. Then why are you doing other things? Please leave the pieces alone, please sit properly. And focus here. There is no need to play with the pieces now. Okay, smile. What is the move? We have to move the pawn to h5. Exactly. We play h5. And now black can't do anything, we will take the next pawn. So here black just went back to g2. How do we take the pawn? With the pawn or with the rook? Which is better? So, yeah. With the pawn. Yeah. Either moves okay actually. Rook takes is also good. Pawn takes is also good. Both moves are fine. But in the game, white took with the rook. Black didn't take with the rook because black's already down two pawns. So black moved the rook away. And now, what's the next step? Let me ask Anandini. What should white do? White has a great position, thanks to our two rooks on the second seventh rank. Now we moved it back to take the pawn. But how do you continue? I'm asking Anandini. How to make progress? What is progress? Progress is when your position becomes better. How do you make our position better? One second, let Anandini decide. You already have a move, no? No? No, no move yet? Okay, who else is decided? Okay, Ahan. Uh -huh. So, so should I tell only the move? Just the move? move, just tell me what you want so to play here. Rook H8. But, hmm, Rook H8, nice, good. Winning move, it's a winning move, yeah? So is I, there? Have, I, 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 I was thinking of pushing the pawn. I thought we will make slow progress, but we have a winning move here. So Just rook it. So in the instead of playing after rook g5, let's go back a little bit. There was a black pawn there, right? Let's this pawn was here. In this position, white pushed. Yeah? Now imagine black played rook e8, rook d8, let's say. Does that change anything? Yes. What does it change? You, you can still play rook e8 in a minute, no? If he, no okay, what if he played rook e8? Let's say he played rook e8. So that the king is close to the rook. Now a hand's rook h8 won't work. So if you continue the same idea, rook takes pawn. Let's say black plays something else. Rook here. Now, rook h8 doesn't work. Yeah, because black rook is already doing it. But in that position, a hand was right. Rook h8 would have won the rook. Do we still play rook h8? No, sir. It doesn't win the rook. So can you please... 
Like, can you keep the position? No, no, why does it not win the rook? In that position, why does it not win the rook? So, because rook h8, king hmm. can move down and attack your rook. The rook is defended. Alright. Oh, so, there is no threat to your rook. You can simply take that rook. So, rook but e8. Sir, even if it wasn't defended, we would still win the pawn, right? Yeah, we'll take this and then take the pawn. But we want to keep our rooks, no? So, here, rook h8 would just be an exchange. So, if not for rook h8, what other move should we consider? Rook h8 is possible. You can still play rook h8. King moves, takes, takes. That position is winning. Not an easy win, but still winning. You're up two points. What other move shall we consider here? What else can we play? A move that makes progress. Yes. So, 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 rook takes a7. Then you have to worry about rook d2, rook f2. Next move will be checkmate. So you got to be a little careful, but you still have rook h8, so it's okay. I mean, you don't have rook h8. If you play rook takes pawn, I'll play rook f2, threatening checkmate. So is that unstoppable? No, you can play king move. So that's like... No, that stops the checkmate. Oh, yeah. For now, that is okay, but there's some... So, you're winning a pawn, there's something better. Yes, Parth? You can play the uh, rook 2, uh, f2. Rook 2, yeah, f2, that's for black. I'm asking for white. So can I... White is the one who's winning, no? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. So rook f7, no, sorry. Rook f7 is a free rook. Yes, sir. Nobody is telling me the move that I am trying to get from you. Yes, Niva. Pawn push. Yeah, you push the pawn. You, you push the pass pawn. That's what you were Yeah, it's just two steps, steps away from queening. Now, if you move the rook, it's 7 h 8. You win. Right, so that, that's the way to make progress. Yes, you can win this pawn. Yes, you can play rook h 8 and exchange rooks. But uh, here, we can even push the pawn. So, in this situation, the two rooks were not enough. We won the two pawns, but we also needed the edge pawn to go up. So to is help. this Levy's game? Uh, I have to check. One second. So how many phones do you have? <laughs> Three, I believe. No, this is not Le Levy's game. Levy's game I had seen, but not... I didn't save the position. Yeah. So three phones? My middle yeah. only has two. Okay. So, so now... So now... Phone. So what is the whole summary of our class today? So rose oh, on Yeah. 7th or 2nd rank, huh. when they're connected are really strong. So basically, 2 rooks on 7th rank is really powerful. Yes, right? or the 2nd rank. Or the 2nd. If you're black, get 2 rooks to 2nd rank, you're in a great position. Even 1 rook is good. Right? It's not like we but, have to get 2 rooks. Sometimes we won't be able to get 2 rooks. Because we don't we, even have 2 rooks. Yeah, even if you can't get the 2nd rook, or if you don't have a 2nd rook, 1 rook to 7th rank is very good. Because you get pawns, you restrict the cage. Lot of people are tempted to put the rook on 8th rank to, to give a check. The check won't help. King will come out. Unless but, it's going to be back rank. Yeah, but with one rook you can't do anything. Oh yeah, for the back rank you can. But no, not otherwise. So yeah, 7th rank is the place your rooks belong. 7. Open file and then 7th rank. So get the, to, get the rook to the Get to the center or an open file and then invade with one rook. Then get one more rook to open file, invade with the second rook. And then rooks can just enjoy life on the 7th rank. We're going to start the games now.